everyone welcome to psychic moon tarot reading so today i am doing a reading to find out what do you need to know okay so i'm open to receive any messages that you need to hear at this moment and let's find out what you need to hear you have three piles here actually i have three cats around me i could actually do a choose a cat uh, so pile number one is this cat Pile number two is this cat and pile number three, come on. The third cat is hiding, so I think I would stick to these three options. All right, so pile number one, pile number two and pile number three. Okay, so these are your three options. Uh, take your time, see which is the one that attracts your attention and that is probably your pile all right so let's start with pile number one i have a new deck here uh, which is called every little thing you do is magic and i'm going to use this deck also along with my right away it's deck so let's have it ready here so what do you need to know? Pile number one, whoever chose uh, this card or this pile, pile number one, what is it that you need to know right now? Pile number one, what is it that you need to know right now? What is your message? Uh, what is your current energy? Uh, what is it that you need to know? Uh, pile number one, spirit, please tell me, okay. Pile number one, I see that you are feeling emotionally empty and you have chosen to walk out of something that felt like uh, whatever you're doing is not enough. Something is missing, something is feeling empty, something is not uh, serving you the way you wanted it to. And hence you have made a choice to leave and move on to something else, okay? That's your current energy. If that is your current energy, then be sure that this is your pile and the message that you're going to hear is yours. Okay, so pile number one, what does spirit want you to know? What does spirit want you to know? The devil. Okay, the spirit, uh, the universe, spirit wants you to know that you are trapped in your own illusions, okay? of something that is not letting you move forward all right you are trapped in your own fears in your own um, understandings or own belief set okay you have a certain set of beliefs that is stopping you from becoming your true personality or or embracing that true potential of yours okay your fears your inhibitions are not letting you grow the way you want to so spirit wants you to know that you need to walk away if you feel like you need to uh, step away from things that are holding you back you are right because yes it is you are probably feeling stuck in a toxic pattern and spirit is encouraging you to walk away from anything that is making you feel small, anything that is making you feel that you can't do something or anything that is stopping you from doing what you want to. All right. What is coming next if you listen to this advice from spirit? What is coming next if you listen to this advice from spirit? Things are going to move. Things are going to take momentum. Things are going to work in the direction that you want to. You know, you are going to be directed by spirit, by universe in the correct direction. Okay, your life is going to take the right direction, the right path. You just have to, you know, the, the full card just flew away. And you are just 
advice to be like the fool. You are just advised to take the leap of faith and jump off the cliff. Do what you are called to without being too restrictive about the future or without being too judgmental about what are the pros and cons of it. Okay, If you have a certain pull towards doing something, just do it. You may have people stopping you like how the dog is stopping the fool from taking the leap ahead but don't listen to it okay just trust your instincts and jump off get to do what you feel like doing don't listen to others don't let others trap your energy don't let others take control of your life all right so that was the message that you needed to hear group number one okay let me pull a few cards from this deck to understand what is coming forward okay what is coming forward into your life what is coming forward into your life in the next by the end of this year what can you expect to come through in your life by the end of this year file number one elder of cups okay so I see that uh, you are going to feel emotionally fulfilled. You are going to achieve the emotional stability that you want in whichever field of life, in whichever uh, realm of life, be it love, be it career, be it mental health, be it anything, be your own uh, journey towards taking care of your health. Okay, you are going to feel very, very stable and satisfied with where you are by the end of this year and eight of cups again so i see that you will understand that if you are making a decision to leave something it is for your good you will understand that um, the decision to leave was the best okay it will be very very clear to you by the end of this year that whatever you have walked out of was the perfect decision for you oops a lot of cards fell we shuffle it again what are you stepping into ace of cups i see you are going to feel very very happy about your choices you're going to feel emotionally very fulfilled okay there is going to be this feeling of being very happy, being very content with whatever you have or wherever you are in your life. Okay, so that is your overall energy. It's, it's more or less about a decision to leave something toxic. All right. So that was it for you, group number one. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, don't let uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, if you're new to my channel, uh, subscribe because I post videos uh, like this every single day all right so group number two let's look at you so group number two whoever chose uh, this emoji right here this is your pile and let's find out what is your current energy group number two what is your current energy What is your current energy? Group number two. Okay, page of swords. I see that you have a lot on your mind. You're not able to focus on anything specific. Uh, there, are, are, there are a lot of ideas in your mind or there are a lot of thoughts in your mind. Uh, you are feeling a little overwhelmed with your thoughts. Okay, you are not able to pick one or you're not able to focus on one all right that is your energy either you're trying to find out something or you are trying to reach to a truth that you want to know okay there is a lot of uh, unsettled energy in your mind okay you are trying to find out something for some, I am getting the message that you are trying to find your life purpose. You are trying to understand who you are. Why are you on this planet Earth? Why 
Uh, do you have certain likings? Why are you in a relationship with such a person in your life? Random thoughts. Okay, you want to know to the you want to know the truth of something. You want to dig deeper. What is your advice from spirit? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Group number two. Okay, so I have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Sorry about that. My cat just kicked the tripod. Okay, so I have the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups. I see that what you need to know that if you have a water sign person in your life, okay, uh, it could be this person could be a Cancer Scorpio or a, a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, this person is here to stay. Okay, or this person has a certain important role to play in your life. This is what you need to know. If you are worried about a relationship with this person, or if you've just met someone and you are not sure whether this person is, is the one for you, Spirit wants you to know that yes, this is your person. This person is here to stay. He is the king. This is not a knight who is going to uh, come and walk away anytime soon. This person is going to stay. This is the king. Okay, and this person has something to offer you, something uh, permanent to offer you, something long lasting. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, this is the seed that has the potential to grow into a huge tree. All right, you might start a family with this person. So that is what you need to know. Any advice from spirit to you? No, Amber, come down. Any advice? Sorry about that, my cat wants to wiggle around the camera for some reason. Okay, so uh, any advice from spirit? Group number two, any advice from spirit on the situation? Uh, okay, you are the divine feminine for this divine masculine energy, okay? You are the divine couple. Clearly, this is a couple here. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Be your true self. Do not hold on to your emotions. Express clearly. Express your love. Express what you feel. Express your emotions. Do not hide them. All right? That is your advice. Do not keep your feelings to yourself. Be expressive. Do not keep what you feel for this person to yourself okay because that could hold back this relationship okay anything else what happens if you listen to this advice what happens if you listen to this advice group number two what is in store what's coming uh what's happening by the end of this year if you listen to this advice Wow, Ten of Pentacles, you might get married by the end of this year. You might uh, start a family together. Ten of Pentacles, it's like a family. It's, it's building something that is long lasting, that is going to stay. All right, this is material fulfillment. Ace of Pentacles again. Uh, group number two, I don't know what else to say. This is like a sure shot uh, relationship. A relationship uh, which should not have any doubts. A relationship that is here to stay. All right. Uh, what else do you need to know? What else do you need to know about this? It's all very positive. I don't know what is worrying you. Oracle of Pentacles. This is a very, very strong relationship, okay? This is a very, very strong relationship. This is like something that is 
etched in stone, that is something that is meant to be, something that is destined to be, it is that strong. All right. So group number two, I would advise you to take the uh, advice that a spirit giving to you, which is about expressing yourself more and not holding back yourself. Okay, not letting doubt creep in. Okay, trust the process and trust that this person is here to stay. All right. So that is your reading group number two. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new because I post videos like this every single day. And if you want to hear more from me, you need to subscribe. Otherwise, you will not get notified. All right. So let's move on to group number three for now. So group number three, whoever chose uh, this emoji right here, this is your reading. And let's find out what is your current energy. All right. What is your current energy? Group number three, what are you currently facing? Um, what's your current energy? Group number three. What's your current energy? Okay, success. So uh, group number three, I see that you are currently enjoying a successful phase in your life. You are proud of something. You're celebrated. Uh, you could be someone who is famous. Who could You could be someone who has been um, giving, given a lot of recognition. Uh, you could be rewarded for something. You could be appreciated for something. Okay. So I see a lot of success around you currently, okay? Group number three. So what is your advice? Your advice is to trust. Your advice is to receive. Your advice is to be in that receptive mode where divine is blessing you with a lot of uh, synchronicities. You might be seeing a lot of uh, synchronicities around you. You could be seeing angel numbers. You could be seeing repeating numbers 11, 11, 10, 10, 14, 14, anything like that. And trust that your angels are around you. Okay, you are being blessed by your angels because of which you are receiving this uh, successful energy. Okay, so trust the process. Uh, be open to receiving more miracles into your life. That is your advice. Okay. What else do you need to know? Group number three. Okay. Trust your decisions. Okay. Do not doubt your decisions. Uh, you are advised to be very, very clear in what choices you make. You can't be doubting your choices. You will be in a position very, very soon where your choices will make very, very strong impact on your life and also others life okay you will be like the queen of swords where you will be taking difficult decisions which are going to impact others all right so that's why you need to be seeking blessings from your angels so that you are being guided in the right direction because your choices are going to affect others the queen, the, the empress, sorry, not the queen, the empress. This is like the epitome of feminine beauty, feminine uh, plushness, luxury, uh, luxuriousness and uh, abundance. Okay, you are going to be blessed with a lot of uh, abundant energy. Okay, you will have a lot of everything, a lot of abundance around you prosperity growth money love attention everything okay so trust the process you need to trust the process you need to trust yourself you need to trust your intuition you need to trust the decisions you take uh, the choices you make everything you can't be doubting at all group number three this is beautiful okay let me see what is it that you can expect by the end of this year what is coming into your life by the end of this year group number three you guys are very very lucky you are being directed towards a path that is full of uh you know it is blessed with a lot of venus energy but it's blessed with a lot of uh, fame 
abundance, prosperity, recognition, okay? You could be turning into celebrities soon or you already have become a celebrity. Uh, you will be getting a lot of public attention. Okay, you will be getting a lot of public attention. So let's see what's coming in. What can you expect by the end of this year? Group number three. What is it that you can expect by the end of this year? Group number three. Uh, apprentice of cups okay so i see the page of cups here and you can expect a lot of people approaching you a lot of people complimenting you uh, saying good things to you appreciating you giving you compliments uh, showing you attention you will have a lot of admirers okay so be ready for that uh, page of cups is a uh, very very sweet romance or you know sweet appreciation and i also see there is uh the death card the eight of pentacles and the oracle of wands okay uh so i see that you are going to be the queen uh, you know you, you you will be treated like a queen because of your work okay your work is going to bring a lot of change in the society something that you do is going to bring a lot of change after november you will see a stark difference in your lifestyle in your social uh, surroundings like how people perceive you how people approach you um it, it's going to be very very beautiful it is going to be very very different okay you will notice that change after november and it is all happening because of the knowledge that you hold because of how you present yourself how you speak how you talk how you uh, express yourself okay you are going to be looked upon people are going to take inspiration from you okay group number three so there is a lot of uh, inspiration that people are going to draw from you from your success from your aura from the way you talk from the way you present yourself from the way you dress everything okay so uh, this is a very very celebrity kind of an energy that i'm getting group number three so congratulations very beautiful time ahead specifically after november any specific advice for you group number three any specific advice for you group number three um you know be welcoming okay you are going to be cheered by a lot of people you are going to be cheered by a lot of well wishers people are going to celebrate you be welcoming be welcoming to receive all of it okay do not be overwhelmed by so much attention because probably you're not used to so much attention from public from people but your advice is to be receiving of all this uh, warm positive welcoming energy that people are showering up on you all right so that is your advice group number three i hope this reading was helpful and if it was don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe because unless you subscribe you will not be notified of my next upcoming uh, readings all right and I will see you very soon in my next reading. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.